Welcome to Mac3D. In this video we will discuss different types of units. First of all, you need to understand is what is physical quantities. Let us define it first. All measurable quantities are called physical quantities, for example length, you measure length using the measuring tape, another example is time you can measure time using a stopwatch. All physical quantities consists of two parts, one part describes its magnitude and the other part describes its units. Take an example of velocity which is also a physical quantity. Now consider a train moves with a velocity of 70 km per hour as shown below. Here 70 describes the magnitude of the velocity and km per hour describes its unit. Now we are going to define the unit. Once a standard is set for a quantity then it can be expressed in term of that physical quantity. This standard quantity is called unit. We divide physical quantities into three basic types, that are base quantities, derived quantities, supplementary quantities. Now we define each of them for you. The first one is base quantities. In any system of units, the units for some physical quantities must be defined through a measurement process. These are called the base quantities for that system and their units are the system's base units. All other physical quantities can be expressed as algebraic combinations of the base quantities. Each of these physical quantities is then known as a derived quantity and each unit is called a derived unit. For example speed is a combination of two base units that are meter and second. Supplementary quantities are geometrical quantities. Supplementary units are the dimensionless units that are used along with the base units to form derived units. For example radian and steradian, 